Here's an interesting problem. They ask us to create a line that's parallel to x minus 3y equals 9 and make that line go through 3, negative 1. So the first thing to do, we have to find out the slope. We do that by moving the x over. So it's a positive x, so I have to subtract x on both sides. We get negative 3y equals negative x plus 9. Now, I'm going to have to divide by negative 3 so that I just get the y. So I got a negative 1x divided by negative 3, which gives me a one-third slope. So that's why I say the slope is one-third. It's got to go through 3, negative 1. So there's my 3, negative 1. Now, I can go with one-third. It's up 1 over up 1 over, so it gets there. I can also go down 1 to the left 3. So down 1 to the left 3. So now I've got 3 points. The key is that it goes through 0, negative 2. 0, comma, negative 2 gives me a, an intercepting on the y-axis of negative 2. And that's a positive result there. Now, let's try to make a perpendicular line to this. That's nice. They got this all set up for us. Three quarters, right? So, I just need to flip 4 over 3 and make it negative. So the new slope is going to be negative 4 thirds. New slope is down 4 to the right. Three. And if we're choosing this point of 3, negative 3, if I go down 4 and to the right 3, that point's going to be 6, negative 7. Slope is good because I can also go up 4 and to the left 3. That's what I want to get. These people set this up nice because there's my slope and it's hitting the y-axis at positive 1. That's what the 0, comma 1 is. There's your answer. Hope you enjoy it.